If you thought the Debo Samuel drama was over, you were wrong. According to Jeremy Fowler, Debo Samuel still wants a trade as much as ever. He is dug in. And just because the 49ers didn't trade him during the draft doesn't change his thought process. I don't know why the Niners thought it would. I always thought if the Niners let the draft come and go without trading him, that Debo would take the nuclear option. And that is, I don't know what the nuclear option is, taking it up to the next level, putting pressure on him. I guess that's Odell Beckham Jr. tweeting reckless stuff. Odo Beckham Jr. tweets, oh, he wants this, he wants to go, to, he's going to the Patriots, he wants out, and then Debo says, oh, that guy's crazy, man, he's just bored, uh-huh, uh-huh, and then next day, Jer Jeremy Fowler comes out and is like, oh, by the way, Debo still wants to trade. So, to me, like, every team that has a wide receiver who requested a trade, either paid him or trade him. The Niners took door three, option three, do nothing, hold on to him, and this is a Kyle Shanahan decision, this is all about Kyle's ego. And maybe Kyle's ego will save the day. But Kyle's ego can't accept the fact that Debo doesn't like him that much. He thinks him and Debo are friends. I don't know if him and Debo are friends. Apparently, Debo's not answering his calls or returning his text messages. It's possible that Debo just made him think they're friends so he'd get the ball and get more money. I mean, it's business. Are you really, really friends with any of your coworkers? Are you just colleagues? Kyle thinks he's really friends with Debo. So what he thinks is he can say something to Debo, time can go by, Debo cool down, and their friendship will bring Debo back to the team. This is business, Kyle. It's not about friendship. It's about paying Debo what he's worth. Either you will or you won't. There's nothing you can say. You can't be the good cop without bringing the right check. Just show him the money or don't. And the fact that you haven't done it yet makes me wonder if you will. I mean, it's not about like a buddy-buddy conversation, man. Either pay him or trade him. And if you trade him now... You're going to trade him for picks next year and your fans are going to be irate because of your ego, because you held on too long. So, Kyle, I mean, are you really as popular as you think you are? You used to be extremely popular. You used to be like your best quality was no matter how much adversity the team had, what the record was, they believed in you. But is that still the case? It seems to me that players are starting to learn that you don't have as much power as you as it seems. It's your team, but it's also Parag's team. And when it's time to get money, there's only so much you can do. I mean, you helped Trent Williams. Can you pull that trick again this year with Debo? Or will Denise, John, and Jed just say, no, not this year. We're dialing back spending. If that's the case, then what's the point of being your friend? It's business. I don't know, man. I think you might need to re-examine the relationship you have with players and be a little bit more realistic. Because when $25 million a year is at stake, I don't think, you know, friendship... Buddy, buddy stuff is going to carry weight, Kyle. So really, what are you holding on to here? How are you going to get Debo to change his mind? You guys going to play PlayStation? What are you going to do? Play, you know, horseshoes? How are you going to fix this, Kyle? I'm curious. <laughs>